Hey everybody, welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Bandai Anime Heroes, and this is Uzumaki Naruto from Naruto Shippuden. Hopefully I said that right. So this is actually Series 1. This one came out maybe a year or two ago. My son is recently getting into Naruto, and he's a huge fan, so obviously once he starts getting into stuff, we gotta go back and track down these action figures. Personally, I'm more into Dragon Ball, but I definitely am a fan of Naruto as well. So these are pretty cool figures, pretty cool series, like the anime series, a lot more than I thought it would. Definitely got to get further into it though, I still don't know a whole lot about it. Very excited to have one of these figures and definitely can't wait to get this one out of the packaging. So first of all, let's get a closer look at packaging. Get a closer look at the front here. Picture of Naruto on the bottom here, anime heroes on the top. On this side just have anime heroes and Naruto, just the logo on the bottom. And on the back we have Akashi, Naruto, and Sasuke. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for packaging. We'll be right back with Naruto outside the packaging so we can get a closer look. We are back and we have Naruto out of the packaging. For accessories, he comes with this kunai, which is pretty cool. A little bit of detail on the handle. If I can get it to focus in here. Uh, paint application on this one is a little bit sloppy. We also have this ninjutsu effect. Not really sure what this one was called. Uh, like I previously stated, I'm just getting into this series, so I don't really know a whole lot about it yet. We do have two of these Jutsu hands, which are pretty cool. We can see some detail in the fingers. We can see that there is some nails sculpted in there. Two Jutsu hands, and in the box he has one of these open gripping hands, and we can see that there is a little hole there for his Ninjutsu or Jutsu effect, whatever you want to call it, to pour it in. And this is the only hand that it comes with the other one. It's just a kind of an open gripping hand. It doesn't have the hole for the cord in. So. so we have two of these open hands. And then we have two of these gripping hands to grip this kunai. So all together does come with three sets of hands. So that's pretty much it for accessories. Let's get a closer look at Naruto. So overall, man, I really like the face sculpt. Uh, I would like to see a little bit of shading or something just to show a bit of detail in his mouth and stuff like that. So in certain kind of lighting, his lips and his nose kind of blend in. You don't really see any detail at all. They could have used a little bit of shading or something like that. Just a little bit of paint. Just to make it uh, kind of stick out. Make it more noticeable. Other than that though, there is some awesome detail on his hair. His headband is cool as well. We can see some awesome detail on his eyes. Overall, pretty cool sculpt on the back here. We can see the symbol on the back and his shoulder. And it's got this cool little pouch on the back here. Uh, paint application on the overall suit is awesome. Uh, I think they did an awesome job with that. I know the bottom part here is mostly orange plastic anyways, but even the white and black stripe going around looks awesome. And then we get down to his feet and I think they did an awesome job on his sandals. I mean, we do have some nails sculpted in here, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if my camera will focus, because it's giving me trouble lately. But yeah, we do see some nails kind of sculpted in here. It's kind of cool and paint application is kind of rough. You see a lot of black paint on the bottom of his toes. The paint application on the anime heroes is a lot better in some places than the SH figure art. So we had a closer look. Let's go over articulation. So for his head, obviously, you can tell that his head is going to be somewhat restricted anyways because the back of his hair is pretty hard. It's a hard stiff plastic. So we're not going to get a lot of articulation there. Even the back part of his headband is a hard stiff plastic. So. It's going to go back this far, it's going to go forward this far, you are going to get some side to side, not a whole lot. There's a little bit of articulation in his neck, but we don't get a lot because of his collar. His collar is like a hard stiff plastic as well. You do get a full rotation out of his head as well, so you get decent range of motion like I said, but it is restricted. So for his arms, his arms go up this far, it does drop down, you get a little bit of added articulation as well, which we're used to with these Bandai figures. Hopefully you guys can see him between there. Uh, there's no butterfly joint, but you do get some movement back and forth. And like I said, it drops up and down, goes all the way around. There is a bicep swivel that spins all the way around. You do have nice double jointed elbows, painless elbows too. So nice clean joints. That's one of my favorite things about Bandai is the nice clean joints that we get from them. For his wrist, his wrist goes up and down, and it's one of those ratchet joints like we see in most of these Bandai figures, and we also see it in McFarland's as well. So you can kind of spin it around, get whatever range motion you want. Just got to play around a little bit. But yeah, pretty decent articulation in the wrist. So there's no ball joint in the torso. There's no ab crunch. There's nothing like that for the upper body. Do get a rotation at the waist though. That spins all the way around. As for his legs, his legs 
come out to pretty much a complete split, which is a lot better than Kakashi. I think uh, Kakashi only comes out like this far. Even though his legs do drop down to get some added articulation, still you still can't get a complete split out of it. So Naruto definitely has a bit better articulation than Kakashi. So like I previously mentioned, his legs do drop down too to get that bit of added articulation. Legs go forward this far and they actually spin all the way around, which is great. So pretty decent articulation there. You can see that there is a full rotation in there as well. There is a cut there. You can get a full rotation. Just be careful because you can chip away at the plastic there if you guys are not careful with the, with the joints there. So we do have double joint pin knees as well. Shoulder pin, they are nice looking joints. I like how the joints are actually tucked up and under with these Bandai figures. So yeah, you get a pretty decent range of motion there. It is a little bit restrictive, but yeah. Nice, clean, solid joints. So we do have a ratchet joint down here as well, which goes back this far, forward this far. And like I previously stated too, with his wrist joints, these ratchet joints, you can kind of turn it. Uh, so whatever range of motion you want, just play around with it, align the joints whatever way you want it, and you can get the articulation there that you need. So yeah, pretty decent articulation at the same time. It's pretty restricted as well. It's restricted in the upper body and his neck and everything else is restricted. His shoulders and his legs, you get pretty decent range of motion out of that. Overall though, I'm gonna say he gets average articulation. Good in some places, restricted in others. But yeah, for his accessories, like I previously stated, he does have two of these gripping hands. And he does have a kunai knife as well, or a blade, whatever you want to call it. So that fits in his hands like so. If you want to switch it the other way around, you can do that as well. Hoping to get caught up soon on this uh, on the Naruto series. But yeah, pretty decent. Pretty awesome looking to be honest with you. And he does have two of these gripping hands so you can put the kunai in whatever hand you want to put them in. We get down to his jutsu or his uh, kind of a ninjutsu effect, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that ports into this hand. And like I previously stated too, there is two of these open gripping hands. Only the right hand has the little port for it to pop into. So once you get it in there, you can actually put it upside down and it will stay in. So pretty decent, looks pretty cool. You have a few more options when you're posing. Alright guys, just to do a few quick comparisons to a few different toy lines, uh, pretty random, but the, <laughs> here we have them next to a Black Series Darth Vader from the same series, from the same wave of anime heroes, and Naruto Wave 1, we have Atake Kakashi. We can see that Naruto is a little bit shorter than Kakashi. Also for comparison, here we have them next to Peter Parker, which is from the Peter Parker Ned Leeds Spider-Man Homecoming 2-pack, and we can see that Naruto is pretty much the same size as Peter Parker, but a lot smaller than Sergeant Slaughter. And it's a Sergeant Slaughter from the G.I. Joe Classified series. So all three of these figures are made by Hasbro. Bandai being a little bit of a smaller scale, Naruto actually comes in at exactly 6 inches. But yeah, just want to do a quick comparison to a few other common, more popular toy lines. So that's pretty much it for our unboxing and figure review for the anime heroes Uzumaki Naruto. So overall, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I think the overall paint application on this one is pretty decent. Uh, a bit rough in a few places, like around the top of his toes and everything else. We can see that some of the paint from the sandals are actually onto the toes. But other than that, it's pretty decent, man. I think they did an awesome job on the face scope. Uh, awesome job on his overall suit. Uh, I think that's fantastic. It's pretty clean all the way over. Comes with uh, three sets of hands in total. Comes with kunai. Comes with this ninjutsu effect. So quite a few accessories, which is not bad. So I think 8 out of 10 is a pretty decent score for this one overall. As always, let us know in the comments below what you think of this figure, what you think of our review. And if you guys had to rate this one out of 10, what would you give it? And don't forget, if you liked the review, hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and that subscribe button is there as well. As always, we hope you enjoyed this review, and we hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys.